Good morning, YouTubers. Now, years ago, I used to be um, a chauffeur. Chauffeur. One of the jobs I had was uh, chauffeuring. I worked for this guy. He had um, a couple of Mercedes, big silver Mercedes 500s and things. And he had a load of wedding cars as well. He had. Uh, he did weddings and just general chauffeuring and that. And uh, he had a load of these Volkswagen, uh, the, the new Beetle, not the old one. The soft tops in, in like Harvest Moon, and he did loads. They were very popular at the time for weddings, and we used to go off and do weddings and wedding fairs. At the Grand Hotel in Brighton, we'd be doing wedding fairs. And we met this guy called Morris, Morris Abrahams, he was called. He's dead now. And uh, he had this big old wedding car. Uh, looked like a Rolls Royce, but it wasn't a Rolls Royce. It was a bit like a two tone sloping back. Very. 1950s, 1960s sort of era. I think it was a Daimler, something like that, but it looked like a Rolls Royce from a distance. And he did a lot of weddings. Uh, and he was working for the same guy as me. He did a bit of subbing for the for this guy that I was working for, Paul. And uh, everything was going great. We'd all work together. We'd often go off to do weddings together because if there's needed more than one driver, two or three drivers, Morris would be in on the driver. He was an ex-paratrooper. And he was getting on a bit, you know, he must have been in his 60s, I would have said. But uh, he was a great guy, a fun guy, you know, he was, he was a good lad. And that's what he did, he did weddings mainly for himself. And he, he did wed weddings for other people as well, other wedding companies. That's how I got to meet him. And uh, then it all came up, you know, the same-sex uh, marriages were made legal and Brighton was like one of the places that like a lot of them went to, to to have the first and Morris is like this, he's old school, he's going, I don't like the sound of this, mm, no, no, I'm, I'm, I don't want to prove, and he was pulling faces and that and saying, come on Morris, you know what I mean, you're the old dinosaur, and uh, anyway, he said, well, I don't know about this, I'm not sure about, I'm, I don't I don't think I want to have anything to do with them, and, uh, anyway, when they first started, there was a date, wasn't there, where same-sex marriages were allowed, and of course they want chauffeurs and Morris is there and he does his first um, gay wedding, two husbands, you know, and they, they, he pulls up outside, the, he's there with his frown and he pulls up outside the town hall and they, they went in and got married or whatever it was and, and he came back out and they went, thanks very much mate, here's a, here's a tip, they give him 100 quid and he's like, whoa, oh okay, and he said the next one he went to, the next um, two husbands he went to, took him to the registry office. They come out, they give him 150 quid, and he's like, whoa! And the next time we see Morris, he said, fuck off, I want all the fucking gay weddings. <laughs> me, me! And so a complete change of opinion, you see there. Just down to tips. He's a great fellow, Morris, yeah. Like I say, he's dead now. He, got, uh, he was on his way to a wedding, and a hawker hunter crashed on his car. Does that mean talk, Graham? That means that mean, I'm that, recording. That, that, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, Morris. Morris was fabulous. Uh, Morris was um, a guy's guy kind of guy. And uh, we did the chauffeur cars together. Me and Morris and Graham and uh, Paul. Paul was the boss. And uh, Paul actually paid us really good money. We got £10 an hour for the weddings. And I often did the weddings in the Little Beatles and we had to put ribbons on and stuff. And we got good tips. Now, I did a wedding with Morris and we went to um, somewhere in the no New Forest. Um, I think it might have been some software engineers who owned uh, Final Cut. The, the software for the movie people. Oh, that was and that was um, Goodwood, Goodwood House. Yeah, that's right, at Goodwood. Yeah. Oh, it was very big. Um, I think Morris was there, and it was very posh. And uh, that again, that was a gay wedding. They, they were fabulous. The, the, there was um, well, one of the owners of Final Cut was a a guy who had a sort of 
very Taylor of Gloucester embroidered coat. Anyway, yeah, Morris, I saw your video today, Graham, about Morris. And the thing is, when, um, because Morris's limousine was two-tone, it was sort of, uh, the, the wings were two-tone. And uh, we were working in Gibraltar on the dolphin boat and we went past the ship, which is a pub. And they've got the big flat screen TVs on and um, we saw there'd been an accident at Shoreham Air Show and there was a the jet had landed on this two-tone jet a uh, two-tone limousine and they said uh, oh it's a wedding car and Graham quite flippantly said to me as, as we were rushing off on a dolphin trip oh bloody hell that looks like Morris's uh, car hope it's not Morris and we went out did the dolphin trip and when we came back went saw her on the TV on the ship again he said oh it was a wedding chauffeur and Graham said oh god I think that might have been Morris and it was what a way to go of all the unusual deaths and it, it was absolutely tragic he was sitting at the traffic lights um, near Lanson College by Shoreham Airport and and that happened and uh, apparently he'd given way to someone else if he hadn't he'd have uh, uh, gone through on the green well I mean it, if it's your time it's your time it's not the fault of the pilot I don't well I don't know what it, the outcome was with the pilot just, air shows are always uh, tricky but it, it, it was very spooky for me and Graham because Graham and I met at Shoreham Airport and Morris had absolutely nothing to do with Shoreham Airport but we met him oh 12 years later absolutely nothing to do with Shoreham Airport so the fact Morris and Shoreham were on the news it was a, and such a tragedy strange isn't it I, I begin to wonder